So, PlayStation 4 versus Xbox One. No. PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360. No. PlayStation 2 versus Xbox. Ooh. Ooh, I got, ooh, I got an idea. PlayStation 1. How's that? You know, it's just PlayStation 1. Yeah. What is this button? Does this button actually roll the intro? Let's see. Oh my god! One brain from Emerald Sorter today, and I'm going to be doing a full entire PlayStation review with two PlayStation 2s. One obviously cleaner than the other, but anyways, let's hop into it. So, first you have the open button, which on this one it is a nice blue teal ish color, and on here it is almost the same color, just a little bit dirtier. So, let's press the button, and as you can see, they both open up around the same height. This one's a little bit higher, but we'll talk about why that is in a second. So if you want to see it open, if you want to see it open, look at that. Inside, we have a little spinny thingies over here. And as you can see, they're quite different. If I look at this and this, there's a difference. And this black area is up in this top corner, up in this bottom corner. Mind you, they're in the same exact position. And, um, the power button. I make a different sound. But of course, that might just be because of, you know, um, sorry about that might be because of different, um, models and, you know, time issues and all that. But, you know, let's just shut these. And also, just a quick note, this thing is held by this thing, which, if you look close enough, you can... Anyways, besides that, back to the review. You can see, um, let's turn these models over here. You can see both models have a 1 and 2 controller thing, along with a, um, memory card slot, which could be useful depending on which game you're playing. And just like the SNES, you can see this plastic is sort of dirty and this one's kind of cool, but besides that, that doesn't really matter. Time to flip these guys over, so I'll just flip these guys over off camera and I'll be back in like two seconds. Alright, they're flipped over and already you can see a major difference for multiple reasons. One, this model has these three brackets that and it has this little tab which opens up like this but this one only has this that and that so what gives is this one more powerful can this one actually run can this one like not run at all so it's just a scrap um all these questions you might be asking behind the screen but in reality they're fine they both have this they both have this in there. So really, this is just supposed to connect it to an older TV. It has the new and the old outputs, and this one's just for the new TV. So this one must have been created in between the new version and the old version era, so let's to put you aside over there. I like throwing things in this house. That's good. Alright, so... Let's just look at this one. So this one looks normal. I mean, they both have the same thing under it. You know, apart from a little difference here, there's a little, like, sticky thing. And this one's just flat. But really, honestly, I honestly see lots of potential for the PlayStation. So right now, I'm going to grab one game so I can test them out in the slots. Or, not really slots, I keep thinking this is an SNES because of the um, yellowish orange and the, the this. But anyways, let's be back in a second. Ballistic. 
one of the most intricate and simple um, PlayStation games around. Get that glare out of here. That's funny. So, Ballistic has tons of random information over here on how to play the game. So, let's open it up. Inside is a pink disc and a manual, which we don't really care about. Let's take the disc out. Ooh, we still don't need you. Yeah. Perfect. So let's put the disc over and ooh, it's black. So yes, I would like to mention that PlayStation 1 era of oh, hey, it's my reflection. Sup me. Oh, this is weird because I'm seeing my reflection in my face and this is weird, so anyways. Anyways, so there's this is all black. In the PlayStation era of discs, it's all black on the bottom. And there's regular. So let's put in the newer one. Let's put in the newer one. Let's spin it. Let's close it. Alright, works fine. So, can shut you. This so spin it. Shut it. All right. So now let's. I'm gonna go put this back in its case. I'll be back in just two seconds. So yeah. Overall, what do I think? New world. Well, in my opinion, I don't really care. They're both great, but I am, in my opinion, I prefer the older version because the older version does actually allow you to um plug it into a new TV and an old TV. So, in my opinion, this piece is kind of trash. I mean, it can only connect to a new TV, but like say you want to bring the console over your, you know, your friend's house, but your friend's only allowed to have, like, an old CRT TV. This is fine. Just three little things, and don't get where that little nut is there in between the white and the yellow. It's just odd for whatever reason. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.